Jack Trice was Iowa State's first black athlete. He had dreams of using his college education to help others, but his life was cut short due to injuries he suffered during a football game. But during his life, he made such a huge impact that people felt compelled to make sure he would never be forgotten. When I do get here, I do my lap and in my lap I'm just thanking everyone, I'm thanking my family, my friends for all that they've done to me. I'm thanking the coaches, the support staff, as well as I'm thanking Jack Trice for allowing me to play in the stadium that's named after me. Almost 100 years after his death, the story of Jack Trice, Iowa State's first black athlete, still resonates deeply with today's Cyclone athletes like Orion Vance. To bet on yourself when every single odd was against you. No one wanted him to be there on that field. No one wanted him to play football and to go out and be one of those guys where he was playing on both sides. And it's one of those things for, as me, like I went, I decided also to go to Iowa State because it was named after one of the only African-Americans and to have that and be able to play on the Jack Trice Stadium meant the world to me. Jack Trice exemplified courage and determination he was driven to succeed not only for himself, but to ultimately help others. He wanted to better himself. He wanted to use football as a way of getting an education, um, even though there were no scholarships at the time. In 1922, he began attending Iowa State. He studied animal husbandry, which deals with raising livestock and selective breeding. His goal was to use what he learned to help black farmers. Outside of his studies, Jack was on the track team and the football team. In fall of 1923, Jack was set to play in what he considered his first real college football game. He put his thoughts to paper in a now famous letter. Part of it read, the honor of my race, family, and self are at stake. Everyone is expecting me to do big things. I will. My whole body and soul are to be thrown recklessly about the field tomorrow. Every time the ball is snapped, I will be trying to do more than my part. Jack, when he was stepping out there, was not just representing himself, but he's representing his family. And the first thing he listed was his race. And a lot of the people of color who I've interviewed, that's what they understand. And I think that particularly resonates with them. While inspiring, the letter was equal parts eerie, almost foreshadowing his own death. On October 6th, Jack suffered serious injuries in a game against Minnesota. Those injuries would lead to his death just two days later. As the years passed, Jack Trice's story faded from memory on the Iowa State campus until the late 50s. Tom Emerson was a reporter for the student newspaper, the Iowa State Daily, when he came across a plaque dedicated to Jack in a gym on campus. Not familiar with who he was, Emerson asked around and got filled in on Jack's story, but he wanted to know more. I would like to say I, I went immediately, but pretty close to immediately, to the library and asked to find out more about him and that's where I, uh, I got almost all the information for the story. In 1957 he wrote an article about Jack that would spark new interest from students to bring his story back to the forefront. The article didn't generate much buzz immediately though. In fact it wasn't until the early 70s that it resurfaced. By then Emerson had become a professor at the university and was actively working to educate students about Jack. The main thing we did more or less uh, <laughs> establish an informal guerrilla movement inside the journalism building. And, and the idea was to keep the story alive. It worked. Who Jack was and what he stood for connected with students, and they felt that he should be honored. Iowa State had begun building a, its new stadium, and uh, one of the students said, Jack Trice Stadium, let's go for that. You know, that was their focus. Channeling the same I will mentality Jack expressed in his letter, the students persisted, and in 1997, they accomplished their goal. Iowa State opened the season with high expectations and a packed house at the newly named Jack Trice Stadium. It took almost a quarter century to get Jack Trice's name on that stadium, but now his legacy is immortalized for all to see. This idea of Jack not only trailblazing in his lifetime, but inspiring a generation of students, you know, here we are 100 years later still talking about him. While Jack's life was short, the impact he made is immeasurable. Wow.
And Jack Trice Stadium remains the only uh, major college football stadium in the country to be named after an African American. And a lot of that is thanks to people like Tom and those students who fought so hard to make sure that uh, Jack Trice would be honored accordingly. And I love that they never gave up that fight. No, they, they really believed in them. They really felt like he needed to be honored with that. Very touching movement, and we are all benefiting from, from their work yes. and knowing more about Jack Trice. Raina, thank you so much.